Hello YouTube, this is Z Dark Omega Z with the U Battle against Butler 93 Poke Mad from Pokemon Wi Fi Zap. He was live streaming at the time and I was also on the Skype call with him and this is the last battle off the stream. It was actually a really good match. And yeah, let's get started. So right here I misclick as he goes for the U turn, thinking free stealth rocks and I click Super Fang. Which you know it's not that bad when I'm coming right here, but it does miss. In fact, that's not even, that's like, oh, it doesn't even matter, just ignore that thought process completely. So he gets a rock polish up, and here's a bad misplay again, I go for the taunt. When I should have went for the stealth rocks there, but no, I went for the taunt, hoping he can get, like, plus four, I guess, and it should be, like, everything in my team, I guess, I don't know, even though nothing now speeds it at plus two. But anyway, that's going to rape my face with an earthquake, obviously. And I'm just going to go out in the bomb snow, and instead of going for Giga Drain here or Blizzard, I just go for the Focus Blast, which lucky for me it hits, because it usually doesn't. And I'm going to live in Stone Edge, because I've got the Focus Sash, as all offensive a bomb snow should. And my Focus Blast hits, and it's going to take him out, no problem. And this was great for me, because it obviously never hits for me, because I don't get hacks. And here he's going to go into the hip on top for the revenge kill with the fake out, which is a pretty good play and it's pretty obvious as well. But it lets me t it lets me know that he's a technician set, not bulky, as soon as he comes in, which is good. So I can then come in on my slow bro and wall him out. And I really should have kept the uh, bomb snow because it could have came in useful later on. And since he doesn't have rocks up, I mean I, that was a really bad play actually letting it die there probably. So I should have I should have saved it because he doesn't get rocked up at any point in the game. So I'm going to go for the surf and do an okay damage to his incoming mill tank thing. I think that's what it's called. And pretty much just going to withdraw, go into my own hit on top, fearing something like the toxic or a para hack, which is something hit on top can take because it just mainly runs priority. So right here I'm predicting the switch out because he's fearing a lot of things at this point from hit on top, obviously. One of them maybe being the high jump kick, which I don't have, I have close combat instead. I don't know why, I might change it, I might not. So anyway, I do go for the close combat and hit his own hit more talk. And this does a shitload compared to what I thought it would do, because I've got no attack EVs. And obviously he's not very defensive, which is good for me. So at this point I'm thinking, of, if a map punch goes all, I'm good. If it doesn't, oh well, I'll just fodder him out and get a free switch into something with priority and kill it. Or go into slow bro and scare it off. But it, it takes it down to red, which is like, slight, it's not slightly annoying, it is annoying, because he's going to be able to finish off me with the high jump kick after I got the defense drops. And yeah, I believe I got the, yeah, I got the slow bro here to scare him off and just go for the surf. As he just goes, he misclicks here, which is like, misclick for misclick. And lets me have no, it didn't matter, because I would switch out slow bro and get all my health back anyway. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't have what, any move that can kill me from there. So, anyway, he goes and eats Duddles, which is his Raikou, and this thing was like a bitch for me, so I switch back out and go into the Mammoth Swain, predicting the T Bow, which is going to. It's not that much of a bitch, it's just. It just I don't, I'm worried about it coming in at that point in the game where it can sweep. So, since this is out, I predict the switch into. Uh, Star Raptor, uh, if I predict him to predict me to go for the Earthquake, and obviously Star Raptor being a flying type, you can avoid it. So I went for Stone Age there, and he actually goes into his mill tank, which I can just do hit KO anyway, which is great. So as he goes into his Dumbledore, which is Alakazam, and I already know this thing as a uh, life orb from an earlier battle that he had, and he was using it in the OU. So he goes for the Focus Blast, misses there, which is like, bitch, that's, that's unlucky for him, because... But I go for the Stone Edge here, and I'm this. So it's like equaling it out. So, yeah. I wish I'd actually went for the Ice Shard, and then I would have 2 hit KO'd, and from there, can went to sweep. But didn't that, me living on 17 HP was surprising, but it didn't really matter because I have the Focus Sash, and 17 HP is 17 HP. So I'm not going to live anything from there. So, as I go for the Ice Shard, it almost takes him out. And I, see if I'd went for the Ice Shard the first time, I would have 2 it KO with it and then got an ice off on the Ryaku and practically destroyed his team with that. Because uh, as you're about to see, I go into Slowbro and go for the Surf on the incoming Ryaku here. And if I still had the Bomb Snow at the same time, I would still have the other priority ice shard. So 
Yeah, it would have made a bow. I I would have won if I thought about it. I uh, thought about what uh, what could have happened late game a little bit more. But right here, we're both thinking, can I live a T bolt from? Uh, um, I don't know what type he is, but can I live one? He was thinking I could, and I was thinking, no, definitely no, I can't. He's gonna kill me off, and I'm gonna have to go into Jinx, hoping I can. Well, knowing I can take one actually, because Jinx has got good natural defense. But I know I can't do anything against that Star Raptor, so that's pretty much good game. And Jinx replacement for Kyrim is brilliant, as I probably already said. And the forewarn for the death, going in for scouting death fodder stuff is great as well. So I'm going to be able to finish him off with this Blizzard, and his Star Raptor is going to come in and finish me off with close combat. And if you'd went for the Brave Bird, I'm sure that probably would have been a draw. So anyway, good game, Butler. And as always, rate comment and subscribe. Goodbye.